Hi, my name is Johnny, and this is my story. I was raised a preacher's kid. Honestly, don't even remember a monumental time that I ever asked God to come into my life. It was just um, part of my DNA. I um, grew up playing music with my family and traveled around with gospel groups and enjoyed having that part of my life. The same thing that I love so much, being music kind of helped drive me away from church. And I started playing in nightclubs and on the road. I um, drifted far away from the life that I had been taught to live. It consisted of uh, using drugs, drinking. It's um, hard to admit I was an addict. But I was. The addiction pretty quickly led into um, selling drugs. I don't even think I realized how involved I was until the DEA knocked on my door. I was uh, arrested and uh, incarcerated. I won't ever forget, I was being transferred and I was in a place that not a lot of people would really want to be. There was a huge burden on my heart to ask God to forgive me for everything that I'd done. I can't explain the peace that I had in my heart and the burden that was lifted from my shoulders in a place where burdens are heavy and a place where there's not much peace. But through all that, God found a way to deliver me from it. I was a changed man. December 28th of 2006, I came home a free man. Shortly thereafter, met a uh, wonderful lady that is now my wife, Caroline. And with her help and a lot of pushing from Glenn Hodges, we decided to come to Rock Point Church. I was challenged, inspired, and excited about the things that God was doing at this church. Since that time, I have been blessed, and I have such a peace and a happiness now that I was never able to get during the time where I was doing wrong. With that being said, I want to thank my mom and my dad for instilling in me the things that they did. I want to thank my wife, my son, and all my extended family my small group especially and this band that I get to work with almost every week here at Rock Point for being great leaders and men of God also Richie for keeping me accountable I am grateful to be here today to publicly proclaim Jesus as Lord and Savior of my life face that way. You're good. I'm just going to step up here for a second. You can tell Johnny's a big guy. Um, and this is a small pool with a small man going to baptize this guy. But you know what? It's all about getting under and we'll get you under somehow. Does that work? Super. What about getting me up? We'll get there. Um, man, I, Johnny, I just got to tell you, I've known this guy for a while and, uh, and he, he actually approached me about one time he was just saying he was a you know, drummer and musician when we were first starting the church and we got to know each other and the more I got to hear his story, the more I was actually and absolutely blown away uh, with what God has done in this man's life. And, uh, and he's not just spouting off words up there trying to get on a video. Um, when I had lunch with him, we were talking about this and he just shared his story. I mean, I could just sense his heart and teared up multiple times and sharing what God has done in his life. And and uh, it is just, um, it's a privilege today to be here with you and, and to be able to baptize you and to, to, for you to ex be able to share that with all these people. And I want you guys to know something that um, if you've never experienced a baptism here, maybe your history kind of tells you or your tradition at whatever church you're at tells you that when it happens, you just kind of like, you know, golf clap, oh, amen. No, we want you to feel free to go crazy for this man and just scream and holler and clap, whatever you want to do. Because to celebrate what Christ has done in his life and the new life he has in him, it's unbelievable. And so he wants to be able to share that with you. So, all right, I've worked myself up now. You ready to do this? All right. All right, you're going to go back. You're going to count. There you go. You're going to be good. So hold my arm right here. All right, he's, gonna, he's actually going to go down, and we're going to make this happen. All right, Johnny Smith, wow. It is my absolute privilege today to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 